All right, welcome back. So let's talk about variables. What exactly are variables? So let me open our default HTML page and save it as variables.php. Okay, so let me type variables here. Variables like that. So let me create some uh, PHP tags so we can type in some PHP in the body. Okay, so variables are locations in memory where there's information. For example, if you want to store somebody's name, you create a variable to store the name. Now, the for PHP to know where that name is when you're referring to it, you use the variable name. So it's called a variable because it can vary over time. The same uh, a variable name can refer to one name and then refer to another name later on during the uh, processing of the PHP. So that's why it's called a variable because its value can vary from one value to another. So I've got a list of uh, variables, the, the rules that variables follow over here. So let me just uh, type that in. Let me put these as comments so they don't affect our PHP. All right, so as soon as you put a dollar sign at the beginning of a word, it becomes a variable. So like, for example, if I did that, that is a valid variable. But it's, uh, so it's case sensitive though. If I type something like book, this book and this book are two different variables altogether. This one can contain it, for example, a number, number five, this one can contain number 10 and they won't interfere with each other. But to avoid getting confused, it's better not to use uh, variables like this that are too close. So a variable can contain letters, numbers, underscores, and dashes, you know, underscore. This is a very uh, valid variable, okay? So no space is allowed. If I put a space here instead, this is the variable and this is just something else. So PHP here will produce an error if you try to do something like this. This will be regarded as some other text or some other variable. So on top of that, uh, as we have already seen, these two are different variables. You can make a variable like this, or you could use this kind of uh, casing, which is called camel case. With this one, uh, the first letter is small, uh, is a small letter. The rest of the words have a capital at the beginning. So they call this camel case. Most people prefer this one. A lot of people prefer this one. You could use this one as well. This is very valid. You can put a number at the end, very valid, but you can't put a number at the beginning though. That is not allowed. This is not valid at all. You can even see the coloring is different to the others. So this is invalid. You can use an underscore or you can use two underscores. Uh, it can still work, but it's not really recommended to do this because here, as you can see, I can't tell how many underscores are here. So it can get confusing sometimes. It's better to just avoid using an underscore because PHP itself uses uh, has variables that are reserved for PHP that have underscores like this. So you may get confused in the end. So these two not good. Just like this one is not good either because this looks like a minus sign. At some point, you may be doing calculations and you get confused whether this is a minus or it's part of this variable. So it's better to avoid this. This is good and that is good or this is good too. So these variables can contain anything from numbers, integers, floating numbers, which uh, you, you probably know as decimal numbers. It can contain text, which is also called a string. It can contain uh, booleans. Booleans are true or false. If something is true or false, those are booleans. So it only has two states. Then arrays. Arrays are like shelves and drawers of things. We'll get into that later. So all these things, all these uh, variables can refer to these kinds of data types. All right. So if, for example, I say book is equal to four, I put a semicolon, never forget the semicolon there, and book is equal to five, like that. And then if I say echo, uh, echo book. So what I'm telling uh, PHP is that I want you to display whatever is contained in book, and we know that it's four. So let's see if that actually works out. Let me launch Firefox right now. Uh, let me change this to localhost. Make sure your uh, PHP is running Apache there. If it's not running, just uh, run it. And as you can see, it's displaying four right there. Okay, so if I tell it to echo this other one called book with a, uh, an uppercase and it's going to echo out 
five. All right. So this is what variables do. Variables can contain words as well, as well, like uh, word, like that book is equal to word. So if I print out book, I'm going to see word. All right. So I assign book using the equal sign, the equal sign, the single equal sign like this assigned a, assigns a value to a variable. So this is the value. This is the variable. So when I want to uh, get this value, I request this variable like what I've done here. Okay. So these values can alter, can change over time. Like for example, here book is equal to word. And then I can change it and say um, book is equal to uh, boom, for example, then I'll have to echo it down here again. And so what will happen now if I refresh, I'll have word boom. But you see there's no space or line break here, which I have to actually put in using a uh, HTML. I can embed the HTML in here. For example, I can do word, I put a break tag like that, and it's going to be a valid uh, thing like that, you see. Or I could just simply put a space over here like that, leave a space. And when I refresh, there'll be a space between the two words, just like that. Okay, so that's uh, all you need to know about variables for now. See you in the next video.